Back to Godhead Prabhupada Prabhupada's books The Dance of Divine Love Back to Godhead July 1975 For the past six years, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness has sponsored rather yatra festivals in major cities throughout the world. The devotees of the Krishna Consciousness Movement are introducing this ancient festival to the modern world because they are followers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is pictured at the right. Lord Chaitanya is an incarnation of Krishna who appeared 500 years ago to teach that the best way to achieve spiritual perfection in the present age of quarrel is to chant the holy names of the Supreme Lord. The following article recounts the miraculous dancing and transcendental pastimes performed by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he personally took part in the Rather Yatra festival in Jagannath Puri, India. The article is an excerpt from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila, chapters 13 to 14, a work originally composed in Bengali shortly after Lord Chaitanya's disappearance, by the great poet and spiritual master Krishna Dasadkava Rajagasvami. It has been translated into English by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who has supplemented the work with illuminating purports. May the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who danced in front of the cart of Sri Jagannath, be all glorified. By seeing His dancing, not only was the whole universe held in wonder, but Lord Jagannath himself became very much astonished. All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya and all the devotees of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Glorifying the listeners of Chaitanya Charitamrita, I request them to hear the description of the dancing of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the Rather Yatra festival. This is very enchanting, please hear it with great attention. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his personal associates got up in the dark and attentively took their early morning baths. They then went to see the ceremony of Panduvi Jaya. During this ceremony, Lord Jagannath leaves his throne and gets up onto the Radhakar. King Prataparudra in person, the king of Orissa, as well as his entourage, allowed the Panduvi Jaya ceremony to be seen by all the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his prominent devotees, Advaita Akarya, Nityananda Prabhu and others, were greatly happy to observe how Lord Jagannath was beginning the Rather Yatra. The very strongly built deities, carriers of the Jagannath deity, were as powerful as drunken elephants. They manually carried Lord Jagannath from the throne to the car. Purport the word Daita refers to one who has received the mercy of the Lord. Lord Jagannath has a number of stalwart servants known as Daitas. These servants do not come from very high caste families, Brahmanas, Ksatriyas or Vaisyas, but because they are engaged in the service of the Lord, they have been elevated to a respected position. While carrying the deity of Lord Jagannath, some of the Daitas took hold of the shoulders of the Lord, and some caught his lotus feet. The Lord Jagannath deity was bound at the waist by a strong, thick rope made of silk, from two sides the Daitas caught hold of this rope and raised the deity. Strong, puffed up cotton pads called tulis were spread out from the throne to the cart, and the Daitas carried the heavy deity of Lord Jagannath from one pillow-like pad to the next. While the Daitas carried the heavy deity, some of the pads broke, and the cotton contents floated into the air. When they broke, they made a heavy, cracking sound. Lord Jagannath is the maintainer of the whole universe. Who can carry him from one place to another? However, the Lord moves by his personal will, just to perform his pastimes. While the Lord was transported from the throne to the car, tumultuous sounds were made on various musical instruments. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting Manama Manama, but he could not be heard. Purport the word Manama is used in Orissa to address a respectable person. Lord Jagannath was being respectfully addressed by Sri Chaitanya in this way. While the Lord was being carried from the throne to the car, King Prataparudra personally engaged himself in the Lord's service by cleansing the road with a broom that had a golden handle. The king sprinkled the road with water scented with sandalwood. Although he was the owner of the royal throne, he engaged himself in menial service for the sake of Lord Jagannath. Although the king was the most exalted and respected person, he nonetheless accepted the menial service of the Lord. Thus he became a suitable candidate to receive the Lord's mercy. Upon seeing the king engaged in such menial service, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very happy. Simply by rendering this service, the king received the mercy of the Lord. Purport the seer and the dancer were one and the same Supreme Person. Unless one receives the mercy of the Lord, he cannot understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead or engage in his devotional service, Srimad Bhagavatam, 10. 14. 29. Only a devotee who has received a small fraction of the mercy of the Lord can understand him. Others may engage in theoretical speculation to understand the Lord, but they cannot know anything about him. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the king engaged in menial service for Lord Jagannath, he became very happy. 
Thus the king became eligible to receive Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. If a devotee accepts Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the universal guru and Lord Jagannath as the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna, he is benefited by the combined mercy of Krishna and Guru. That is stated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his instructions to Rupagasvami, cc. Madhya 19.151, Brahmanda Burmite Kona Bhagyavan Yiwa Guru Krishna Prasad Paya Bhakti Lada Bia The seed of devotional service fructifies and becomes a transcendental creeper. Finally it reaches the lotus feet of the Lord in the spiritual sky. This seed is obtained by the mercy of the Lord and the Guru. By the Lord's mercy one gets the association of a bona fide Guru, and by the mercy of the Guru, one gets the chance to render devotional service. Devotional service, the science of Bhakti Yoga, carries one from this material world to the spiritual world. Everyone was astonished to see the decorations on the Radha car the car appeared to be newly made of gold, and it was as high as Mount Sumeru. The decorations included bright mirrors and hundreds and hundreds of chimeras, white whisks made of yak tails. On top of the car were a neat and clean canopy and a very beautiful flag. The car was decorated with silken cloth and various pictures. Many brass bells, gongs and ankle bells rang. For the pastimes of the rather yatra ceremony, Lord Jagannath got aboard one car, and his sister, Subhadra, and elder brother, Balarama, got aboard two other cars. The fine white sand spread all over the path before the car resembled the bank of the Yamuna, and the small gardens on both sides looked just like those in Vrindavana. As Lord Jagannath rode in his car and saw the beauty on both sides of him, his mind was filled with pleasure. The pullers of the car were known as Gaudas, and they pulled with great pleasure. However, the car went sometimes very fast and sometimes very slow. Sometimes the car would stand still and not move, even though it was drawn very forcibly. The chariot therefore moved by the will of the Lord, not by the strength of any ordinary person. As the car started, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gathered all his devotees and, with his own hand, decorated them with flower garlands and sandalwood pulp. Paramananda Puri and Brahmananda Bharati were both personally given garlands and sandalwood pulp from the very hands of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This increased their transcendental pleasure. Similarly, when Advaita Akarya and Nityananda Prabhu felt the touch of the transcendental hand of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they both became very pleased. The Lord also gave garlands and sandalwood pulp to the performers of Sankirtana. The two chief performers were Svarupa Damodara and Srivasa Takura. There were four parties of Kirtana performers, comprising 24 chanters. In each party there were also two Maranga players, making an additional eight persons. There was also a Sankirtana party from the village known as Kalinagrama. Ramananda and Satyaraja were appointed the dancers in this group. Another party came from Sandapura and was formed by Advaita Akarya. Asayudananda was the dancer, and the rest of the men were singers. Another party was formed by the people of Kanda. These people were singing in a different place. In that group, Narahari Prabhu and Raghun and Dana were dancing. Four parties chanted and danced in front of Lord Jagannath, and on both sides were two other parties. Another was at the rear. Thus there were seven parties of Sankirtana, and in each party two men were beating drums. Thus fourteen drums were being played at once. The sound was tumultuous, and all the devotees became mad. All the Vaisnavas came together like an assembly of clouds. As the devotees chanted the holy names in great ecstasy, tears fell from their eyes like rainfall. When the Sankirtana resounded, it filled the three worlds. Indeed, no one could hear mundane sounds or musical instruments other than the Sankirtana. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered through all seven groups, chanting the holy name, Hari, Hari. Raising his arms, he shouted, all glories to Lord Jagannath. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then exhibited another mystic power by performing pastimes simultaneously in all seven groups. Everyone said, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is present in my group. Indeed, he does not go anywhere else. He is bestowing his mercy upon us. Actually, no one could see the inconceivable potency of the Lord. Only the most confidential devotees, those in pure, unalloyed devotional service, could understand. Lord Jagannath was very pleased by the Sankirtana, and he brought his car to a standstill just to see the performance. King Prataparudra also was astonished to see the Sankirtana. He became inactive and was converted to ecstatic love of Krishna. When the king informed Kesi Misra of the glories of the Lord, Kesi Misra replied, O king, your fortune has no limit. The king and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya were both aware of the Lord's activities, but no one else could see the tricks of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Only a person who has received the mercy of the Lord can understand. Without the Lord's mercy, even the demigods, headed by Lord Brahma, cannot understand. 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very satisfied to see the king accept the menial task of sweeping the street, and for this humility, the king received the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he could therefore observe the mystery of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's activities, purport the mystery of the Lord's activities as described by Srila Bhakti Shidana Sarasvati Thakura, Lord Jagannath was astonished to see the transcendental dancing and chanting of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he stopped his car to see the dancing. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then danced in such a mystical way that he pleased Lord Jagannath. The seer and the dancer were one and the same supreme person, but the Lord, being one and many of the same time, was exhibiting the variegatedness of his pastimes. That is the meaning behind his mysterious exhibition. By the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the king could understand how both of them were enjoying each other's activities. Another mysterious exhibition was Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's simultaneous presence in seven groups. By the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the king could understand that also. Although the king was refused an interview, he was indirectly granted causeless mercy. Who can understand the internal potency of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Purport since Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was playing the part of a world teacher, he had refused to see the king because a king is a mundane person interested in money and women. Indeed, the very name king suggests one who is always surrounded by money and women. As a sannyasi, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was afraid of both money and women. The very word king is repugnant to one who is in the renounced order of life. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu refused to see the king, but indirectly, by the Lord's causeless mercy, the king was able to understand the mysterious activities of the Lord. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's activities were exhibited sometimes to reveal him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead and sometimes to show him as a devotee. Both kinds of activity are mysterious and appreciated only by pure devotees. When the two great personalities Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and Kesi Misra saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's causeless mercy upon the king, they became astonished. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, performed his pastimes for some time in this way. He was personally singing and inducing his personal associates to dance. According to his need, the Lord exhibited sometimes one form and sometimes many forms. This was being executed by his internal potency. Indeed, the personality of God had forgot himself in the course of his transcendental pastimes, but his internal potency, Lila Sakti, knowing the intentions of the Lord, made all arrangements. Purport is stated in the Upanishads, Parasis actor vivid havis ruyat. The Supreme Lord has multipotencies, which act so perfectly that all consciousness, strength and activity are being directed solely by His will. Svetas Vataru Upanishad 6.8 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exhibited His mystic power in presenting Himself simultaneously in each and every Sankirtana group. Most people thought that He was one, but some saw that He was many. The internal devotees could understand that the Lord, although one, was exhibiting Himself as many in the different Sankirtana groups. While Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing, he forgot himself and was simply absorbed in ecstatic bliss. However his internal potency arranged everything perfectly. This is the difference between the internal and external potency. In the material world, the external potency, material energy, can act only after one endeavors at great length, but when the Supreme Lord desires, everything is performed automatically by the internal potency. By his will, things happen so perfectly that they appear to be carried out automatically. Sometimes the activities of the internal potency are exhibited in the material world. In fact all the activities of the material nature are actually performed by the inconceivable energies of the Lord, but so-called scientists and students of material nature are unable to understand ultimately how things are happening, they evasively conclude that everything is being done by nature, but they do not know that behind nature is the potent Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is explained by Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, this material nature is working under my direction. O oh son of Kunti, and it is producing all moving and unmoving beings. By its rule this manifestation is created and annihilated again and again. BG. 9.10, just as Lord Sri Krishna formally performed the Rasalila dance and other pastimes at Vrindavana, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed uncommon pastimes moment after moment. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastime, his dancing in front of the Radha Yatra, could be perceived only by pure devotees. Others could not understand. Further examples of the Lord's uncommon dancing can be found in the revealed scripture, Srimad Bhagavatam. Purport Lord Sri Krishna expanded himself into many forms while engaged in the Rasalila dance, and he also expanded himself when he married 16,000 wives in Varaka. The same process was adopted by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he expanded himself into seven forms to dance in each and every group of the Sankirtana party. These expansions were appreciated by pure devotees, including King Pradaparudra.
although for reasons of external formality Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu refused to see King Prataparudra because he was a king, King Prataparudra became one of the Lord's most confidential devotees by the Lord's special mercy upon him. The king could see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu simultaneously present in all seven groups. As confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam, one cannot see the expansions of the transcendental forms of the Lord unless one is a pure devotee of the Lord. In this way Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced in great jubilation and inundated all the people with waves of ecstatic love. Thus Lord Jagannath got to his car, and Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu caused all his devotees to dance in front of the car. Seeing the dancing and the ecstatic love of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone became astonished. In their hearts they became filled with love of Krishna. Everyone danced and chanted in ecstatic love, and a great noise resulted. Everyone was overwhelmed with transcendental bliss just to see the dancing of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Apart from the others, even Lord Jagannath and Lord Balarama, with great happiness, began to move very slowly upon seeing the dancing of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Jagannath and Lord Balarama sometimes stopped the car and happily observed Lord Chaitanya's dancing. Anyone who was able to see them stop and watch the dancing became witness to their pastimes. In his prayer known as the Ketanya Staka, Srila Rupa Gisvami has given a vivid description of the Lord's dancing before the car of Jagannath. Purport Srila Rupa Gisvami composed three prayers, each with the title Ketanya Staka. The verse next quoted is from the first of the Ketanya Staka prayers included in the book Stavimala. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced down the main road in great ecstasy before Lord Jagannath, the master of Nilakala, who was sitting on his cart. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was overwhelmed by the transcendental bliss of dancing. He manifested waves of ecstatic love of Godhead, and he was surrounded by Vaisnavas who sang the holy names. When will Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again be visible to my vision? Anyone who hears the description of the car festival will attain Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He will also attain the elevated state by which he will have firm conviction in devotional service and love of Godhead.